to attach the back of the easel to the front of the easel with our T hinge up there. You can see that up there. <sighs> All right, we're gonna put our T hinge. It rotates this way. We're gonna put it on the bottom of our adjustable back of the easel. We're going to put this part right in the middle of the front of our easel on the top. And I'm going to drill some holes, find the midpoint, make it straight, do all that. Alright, I used the last of my pine boards to cut out these two 10 inch uh, supporting boards for the bottom of the easel. I'm going to fit them in there just like that. And then on top of them, I'm going to put these bits of pallet wood that I sanded. To prevent the dowels from moving, I'm going to drill a couple holes into them and then I'm also going to put a few screws in each and every side. I'm going to leave an inch of room for these dowels. I don't know why, but just in case. All right, that's what it looks like so far. Um, pretty sexy, if I do say so myself. So off camera I cut up my one and a half inch dowel and I cut it into, oh god, I, <laughs> I cut them into this these uh, two inch dowels, these little Lincoln log like things. I found that where my dowel would be most comfortable is right above two feet at 26 inches. I have nine dowels for each side of my easel and I'm going to make nine lines above my 26 inch mark and I'm going to space those lines three inches apart.
These are the hooks for your canvas holder. This shaded area is what you will cut out. And this point right here is where you will drill a hole for your dowels to fit into. Alright, I drilled my holes and now I'll cut out the rest. Now what you should have is two wooden hooks just like this. You cut out your hooks, place them on your easel, and measure the distance between them. It turns out it's 13 and a half inches. So I cut out a board a little bit more than 13 and a half inches, and I'm going to line it up. I'm going to see if it's level. And if it's not level, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the hooks that's on the higher side, and I'm going to shave it down until it is. Now that you have everything lined up, go ahead and make a few marks. All right, now screw everything together. In conclusion, let me show you something wonderful about this art easel. It's fully collapsible. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you. I hope you found it informative. And thank you for watching.